Hey guys, this is Steve over at Cookout Coach, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five reasons why you'll wanna add a Weber Smoky Mountain to your backyard. Thanks for stopping by Cookout Coach. We're all about helping you get your barbecue to the next level. If that sounds like something you need in your life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top five reasons why you wanna buy a Weber Smoky Mountain. Reason number five, it's got a compact footprint in your backyard. The Weber Smoky Mountain comes in three different sizes, a 14, an 18, and a 22 inch. Now, I've got a 22, and even at its biggest model, it probably stands about three and a half feet tall, but it's only 22 inches around. Now, that's not a lot of space when we're talking about taking up your backyard or your back deck, as opposed to something like, say, maybe a large offset smoker that's gonna take up a sizable chunk of space. Another thing is, when it comes to moving my Weber Smoky Mountain, it's a one-man job. It comes apart in three easy pieces, and it's no problem. For instance, I've got a bit of a slope up to my back porch here, and if I would've had a big offset smoker made out of something like a quarter inch or three eighths inch steel, I would've had to call somebody to help me get it up here on my back deck. Reason number four, the Weber Smoky Mountain is a great value at its price point. We'll use the 22 for an example, which MSRP is at $399. Now in that price range, you could also get something like a Oklahoma Joe Longhorn or a Highland, um, if you live close to an academy, you can get an Old Country Pecos, which can be great smokers. The thing is, those companies have to make way more compromises to produce those offsets than Weber does to make the Weber Smoky Mountain. If you're looking in the Kamado range, pretty much the egg corn's about the only game in town. You can go up a few more hundred dollars to get something like a Vision Grill or a Gorilla Kong. If you want to go to one of the big name Kamados, you're gonna to need to triple this price to start out to get even close to the same performance. To that effect, the Weber Smoky Mountain has a ton of real estate to actually cook on in comparison to those other cookers. I'd venture to say you can probably get more meat safely on the Weber Smoky Mountain than you could on one of those $400 offset smokers and definitely on a Kamado. Reason number three, it's a Weber. Enough said there, a company whose name has been synonymous with backyard cooking since long before me, possibly you were ever born. You know, my personal testament to Weber is I own a kettle that I still cook on that I'm not certain isn't actually older than I am. Still rolls like a champ. A few battle scars, but that's what makes it beautiful. I mean, we're talking about a company who is known for its great customer service, quality warranty, and just all in all good nature. Why wouldn't you want to buy one of these? When you see that black porcelain shining at you at your local home improvement store, you know you want one. Reason number two, mods. This thing is great out of the box at doing what it does, but if you want to make this your own, turn it into your own Frankenstein smoker, you can absolutely do that. Immediately upon getting my Weber Smoky Mountain, I did my first mod that was one part convenience, one part efficiency, and that was I got a second charcoal grate and used rebar ties to tie it, the two grates to the charcoal basket. That does two things. The convenience sake is that I can pick it up for easy cleanup, and for efficiency, with a crisscross pattern on the grates, charcoal that's not all the way burnt out will take longer to fall through, thus giving you more heat for a longer amount of time. The second mod that I'm prepared to do is on the Weber Smoky Mountain, there are four daisy wheels for adjusting temperature. Three on the bottom, one on the top. On my very first cook, I burned my finger adjusting those daisy wheels. I don't want to do that again, so I immediately got on Facebook, found a guy named Mark Britt. You can find him in the Facebook group called Custom Kettles. I'll put a link down below. Mark makes beautiful handles for those daisy wheels. So I ordered up four in walnut. If you're gonna bling out your grill, you might as well do it right. Those are the two mods that I've done or I'm in the process of doing. However, if you wanna see someone who really knows how to mod out of Weber Smoky Mountain, truly turn it into his own grill, go check out my buddy Phil and Florence. I'm gonna put his link up here, also down in the description below. That man did wonders with his Weber Smoky Mountain name, Baby. You really owe it to yourself to go check out what he can do with it. The number one reason you want to buy Weber Smoky Mountain? Raw performance. My first cook on the Weber Smoky Mountain, I did two racks of St. Louis cut spare ribs. Normally a good cook for my family and me. You know, that's a lot of meat. Looking down at my grill, I could have easily got six, maybe even eight in a pinch. I could have fed an entire party. If you want to talk competition capability, you need to look no further than Harry Sue. He's got a channel here where he's always trying to help people with their barbecue. Harry is famous for winning just about every award there is in competition barbecue, using an 18-inch Weber Smoky Mountain. While people are out there with the $10,000 pits, which don't get me wrong, I'd have one if I could afford it, 
He goes to a competition with everything fitting in a minivan, brings out his Weber Smoky Mountains, and continues to win. It's just amazing. It's a true testament to what you can put out on this cooker if you put in the time to figure out how to use it right. We've got another buddy named Rich over at Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. I'll put a link down in the description below. Now last year, Rich documented his tour on the Backyard Barbecue Division circuit. And he did really well for his first year competing, all on his Weber Smoky Mountain. He'll easily speak to the quality of this cooker and what it can do. And in fact, Rich is a big reason why I ended up getting one myself, as I plan to use it on the competition here in a little over a month. In my own experiences, on my low number of cooks I have on it so far, this thing's pretty amazing in what it can do, the quality of food it can put out, and that delicious smoke flavor it puts on it. There you have it, the top five reasons why you probably want to go out and purchase a Weber Smoky Mountain today. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to a Weber Smoky Mountain in the description down below. Also, if you liked our video today, go ahead and hit that like button. It's something a little bit different, but if you want to see more of them, let us know. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to have plenty more cooks on a Weber Smoky Mountain coming up soon. But till then, y'all take it easy.